They gave me an opportunity and I ran with it. Now the Opportunity Corridor is just days away from opening. Hello everybody and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tracy Carlos. The ribbon cutting for the $200 million project stretching from East 55th Street to East 10th Street happened last week. Tonight, News 5's Clay Lepard takes a closer look at the faces behind this five year long project. In just a few days, the sound of construction crews will disappear as the bustle of business will start to blossom here along the Opportunity Corridor. But as many look to the road's future, we're taking a look back at the impact already done. It's truly a blessing to see that I had a part in changing Cleveland. For Marche Gibbons, the name Opportunity Corridor carries a little more meaning. The opportunity is there. And what I took from this being called the Opportunity Corridor, it was for people that were in their, in their city to come and do some work to make the city look like this. She worked on phase one and phase three of the project as a construction worker attending one of the local outreach events without any experience in construction. They called me a week later and it's history. I learned it all firsthand out here in the field. When the corridor was first announced, it came with a promise to help employ residents directly impacted by the project. This is not just about Opportunity Corridor, but connecting all this. It's about Opportunity Period opportunity for people to have jobs and opportunity for people to have hope. New data from Ohio Means Jobs shows almost a thousand residents along the Opportunity Corridor gained work as a result of the Three Mile Project. From 2014 through 2018, with the help of a $500,000 grant from ODOT, Ohio Means Jobs helped raise awareness in the community about job opportunities, registering more than 1,500 residents for job support, including offering free technical career training and supportive services. We are connecting people to opportunity, and we're excited about the fact that this is not the end, this is the beginning of more opportunities for many people who now want transportation as a career. It's heartfelt to see that, you know, someone gave us the opportunity to come out here and make Cleveland look better. And for me to be a woman, especially in the construction industry, I mean, I, I ask all women to come out here and do it. It's easy. The Opportunity Corridor is scheduled to open at the end of this week. In Cleveland, Clay Lepard, News 5.